High pass sharpening in Photoshop, one of the quickest, easiest, and dirtiest little ways to add some quick sharpening to an image. Now here we have actually a pretty sharp image if I zoom into 100% in Photoshop, a little bit of noise, don't worry about that. Here's how to add this quick bit of uh, high pass sharpening. You simply duplicate the layer that you have, Command or Control J, then you convert it to black and white, Control Shift or Command Shift U, and then you go filter other high pass. Now here's the trick. You can increase the radius if you want more of like a, a clarity slider effect, a, a, a strong mid-tone punch. Um, and, and that might sound like nothing and, and it kind of is. It's just a made up term sort of. Um, but you'll, you'll know it when you see it. In this case, I want to focus on sharpening. If you want to sharpen the edges, you want to reduce the radius of your high pass until you're just getting kind of detail along your edges like this. You want detail along the edges, not the crazy haloing that you get with a larger radius. So we're going to stick with something, I don't know, right around two, hit OK. And then you just simply set the blend mode to either overlay or soft light. Overlay is going to give you a bit more punch in the sharpness. In fact, I'm going to zoom in here if it lets me. And we can see here's overlay. There's with no high pass. There's with overlay. And then if we set it to soft light, we still get sharpening, but it's, it's blended a little bit more subtly. I tend to prefer soft light, but there definitely are times when I use overlay. That's high pass sharpening. And it's great because you can even just reduce the opacity later on if you decide that you want to. Now, of course, you can do that with smart sharpening and smart filters, but this is a quick and dirty way to add some uh, great sharpening, high pass sharpening, or the mid-tone punch. Remember, you can crank up that radius in high pass as well. That's it for this one. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.